So I wanted to do a short video here tonight. Um, tonight is the night, well actually 3 a.m. Eastern Time is uh, when I will be hitting the keys to try and buy uh, an iPhone 6. Here's my iPhone 5. And uh, here's my my uh, iPad mini, so actually similar cases. You can see the size differences. Okay, and then I, I just decided to throw in, um, here's my Kindle. So Kindle, and you know, these are in cases obviously, but uh, they're, you know, kind of similar in size, kind of, you know, the Kindle is, so if all three of them stacked on one another are like here. So I did the, the there was a, Ars Technica had a, a template for what the, the size of the iPhone 6 and the 6 Plus. So to give you an idea, here's the iPhone 6, here's my 5. So you can see, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good size difference. And, and you know, I'm kind of debating because it, I always felt like if I'm gonna spend the money to go from one device to the other, because this obviously still is a, a perfectly functioning phone, then there has to be a big enough difference between the devices. That's why I went from my previous iPad, I believe it was an iPad 3, to the iPad mini, because the Air, even though it was you know, smaller and lighter, wasn't in my mind a big enough difference between the two. And uh, so I wanted to experience that whole uh, sense of, of newness. And so I've been kind of debating um, between the 6 and the 6 Plus. And here is a template for the 6 Plus. It's huge. It's 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 pretty much the size of the Kindle. I mean, if I open the the Kindle, here's the Kindle on the inside. It's kind of you know, it's it's thinner, obviously, but it's pretty much the same size as as the Kindle. It's this sucker is huge, and so it is one of those sorts of things. Can I? Now, granted, I almost never when I talk on the phone, I almost never bring it up to my ears. I'm always using the headphones. I'm a lot more comfortable with the headphones than. Uh, bringing my phone to my ear so I would never I almost never use it um, in that fashion but then you know I'm not you know I'm not Mr. Gigant Giganto fingers so it is one of those sorts of things kind of I don't know so can I you know what you know which which one is the, is the better size for me in, in comparison to actually what I'm used to and then you know coming it, it, it really is almost the size of an iPad mini it really, when I when I cut did the cutout, I'm like, oh my god, this thing's huge. But again, it is one of those sorts of things. If I'm gonna go through the expense of you know, changing out, you know, from uh, from one phone to the other, is it is it worth me spending that much money for for this much change? And and I'm not really sure if it is. And then there's obviously some other qualities that a lot of the uh, guys are talking about in terms of. You know, better camera, better stabilization, a better blah, blah, blah. So, but this sucker really is huge. It, it really, you know, I have a special, um, I do have a pocket in my pants for my phone that does fit my iPhone 5. It is by no means going to fit the 6 Plus. So, so there you go. Um, I haven't decided yet. I'm kind of, I am kind of leaning in the 6 Plus just because, again, if I'm going to go through that, I really want to, to have that sense of, Okay, this is this is way different from what I've done before. But um, there you go. I, I, <laughs> I did the cutout and I was like, oh my God, I have to share this. This is amazing how huge it is. Anyway, um, so that's my brief and really quick thought of the night. Talk to you later. Catch you next time. Uh, and if you want to catch any more of my blog stuff, you can catch it at uh, joebustios.com. Um, and I think I do have the, the, um, I do have the URL for... Uh, JBB's final thoughts also, so you can catch me there too. Catch you next time. Bye.